in the ancient church, when Christianity was persecuted, penalty was death. We had the largest evangelical growth in the history of the church. Mm-hmm. Death of St. Paul, 6,000 Catholics, six or seven Catholics. By the time of the Edict of Milan, there were 36 million Christians. Yep. So the question is, how did that happen? Yeah. And there's a historian who wrote an article in the Wall Street Journal reviewing the, the movie, Paul, Apostle of Christ. And she said there are at least two indisputable reasons. Heroic personal holiness of individual Christians and communities that was so loving that if I was put to death, this community would have taken care of my children and my wife and I could die in peace. Yep. So my question is, heroic holiness in the 21st century and communities that could do that, we evangelize the whole world. Yep. We have another question from our audience. Sir, where are you from? Uh, I'm from my Catholic mobile in Harvard, Massachusetts. Great. Great. Welcome. And your question? My question is, we as Catholics know that there's only one way to salvation through the universal Catholic Church. But how do we address our, our Protestant friends and family and uh, brethren with extra ecclesia nulla solis without putting them back uh, in a way that would be more engaging to make them want to start a journey to explore Catholicism and salvation? Extra Ecclesia Nula Salus, when St. Augustine said that, right, when he taught that, the presumption was that Christianity was preached effectively throughout the whole world. So if you chose not to be a Christian or not to be part of the church, it was because you had effectively heard the gospel and said no. Right? Because without the Lord, there is no salvation for anyone. I mean, St. Paul says that clearly. And, the, and Jesus, our Lord, said, said it. No one comes In the, the modern world, world, though, the question is, have we effectively preached? the gospel have people effectively heard it to make a true choice Mm -hmm. so i think in the end for us this would be my my suggestion to the question our focus is on becoming ever more authentic as a church in our parishes in our schools as individuals faithful to what we believe faithful to what the lord asks that light will attract people whomever they may be to explore being coming part, <laughs> God bless you, thank you, part of the communion of the church. I think it's not so much looking outward so much as an introspective look. Let's start with ourselves first. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, 